What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today we're back at Copart for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. So why don't we start out with this little gem, a 2019 Nissan 370Z. This is a clean little car. It's a rebuilt title and it's only got 19,000 miles on the odometer. So being that it's a rebuilt title, obviously it was in some kind of a severe enough collision to total it out. So that makes me really curious. What is the damage? Where was the damage? I don't know. The lines actually look really good. Everywhere that I'm looking, the lines look good. So what I'm going to do, and what I highly recommend a lot of you do as well, if you're in the market to buy some of these used vehicles, rebuilt title vehicles, salvage vehicles, I highly recommend you go to autoastat.com. In fact, I'm going to put a link below to you guys and get a discount. Uh, click that link and you'll be able to see what this car looked like if it ran through the auction before, which it should have since it has a rebuilt title, you should be able to see what the damage was. Because I'm telling you, on something like this, the gaps honestly look really good. A lot of times when flippers come out here, they buy these things wrecked, they toss them together cheap, and they send them down the road and try to make their money. But this one, surprisingly, there are this gap looks too big right here. And I don't know, the tail light is sticking out a little too far here. I see a few very minor concerns, but nothing that would actually stop me from buying this car. But if I had to guess, before, before being able to, to run this through, I'm going to guess this was a rear end collision. The gap here looks way too big. I could fit my whole finger in here. The gaps on the back just look, they look off. This exhaust pipe is shoved up into here as well. I'm going to bet this was a rear end collision, but still, it's a Nissan 370Z. It's got some 20s back here. I would get rid of these. I would absolutely, the tires are in great shape, um, but the wheels look horrible. What are they? These are Ferranas? Ferrana alloy wheels? Never heard of them. Not a clue. Like I said, they got great tires. They are 20s. Or they're Rohanas. Yeah, Rohana. I don't know. Yeah, it's got some 20s. You know, they're decent. The paint and body looks good for the most part, except for a little bit of damage in the back. And I just noticed this. This is going to be from the forklifts. Uh, the paint is cracked and breaking on the front. And right here, this is where the forklifts have, uh, the forks have gotten under here and bent the, uh, the plastic. So this is all kind of misshapen right here. I do see some overspray down here too. So I don't know, maybe it was a front end collision. You guys comment below and tell me what you think. And uh, if I can find this car uh, previous condition, I'll be sure to post that for you. Here's another thing that I think is a little odd. You can clearly see where this was for sale. This probably said 2019, and this would have said like fresh trade. This would have said like clean, super clean, you know? That is permanently like burned into the windshield. Um, kind of like those old plasma TVs. If you'd leave them on the same thing for too long, you'd have that burn in effect, and you got that right there. So there's a few little things to pay attention to on this one, but overall, not too bad. Let's take a look at the interior. I mean, not optioned very well. It's cloth interior, and that's it. <laughs> That's, that's it. There's not a whole lot of options in this car, but again, 19,000 miles, guys. So remember that. This is a this is literally a brand new car. Practically a brand new car. Such low miles. It's got power. It's an automatic. Let's put the key in. And now I guess we got to push. We got to push. What? What? Okay, so it's push to start over here, but before you can push to start it, you got to put the key in over here. Push to start is supposed to be a convenience feature. You put the key in your pocket and you just, boom, you push the button and go. What's the point of push to start if you got to put the key fob all the way in, way down here, and then you got to come over here and push the start button? Let's see what this thing sounds like. That exhaust actually sounds halfway decent. I'm not going to lie, that exhaust actually sounds pretty good. 
I'm surprised that the airbag light, oh, nope, it, it's flashing. I thought it went out. So again, very common for flippers. Um, they throw these things back together and the last thing they're worried about is fixing the airbag light. So we have a check engine light. Not quite sure why a car with 19,000 miles on it would have a check engine light on. The airbag light, not very surprised. Uh, I like to check the pre-tensioners because you'll find these things locked up. It's not a pre-tensioner. So must have been a bag or maybe a seat, a curtain. See, I don't see anything. This is one, guys. I'm just going to have to put this VIN number into that website, man. And, uh, and I'm going to have to look around and try to figure out what happened to this car. Let's turn on the air conditioning. Let's find out if it works because obviously that's another thing that's really important. If it's in a front end collision, may have damaged the, uh, the condenser. And a lot of times, if it's a flipper that's just throwing it together to resell, a lot of times they ain't going to bother fixing that kind of stuff. We'll let the AC run for a minute. Let's put down the window. It works. The, uh, see, there's a cut here. And look how this is warped. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guarantee there was an airbag that got deployed here. Maybe they replaced the headliner, but they didn't replace this, and it's got a big old cut in it. The tent is peeling off. Look, it's sitting at $525 right now, and the auction is, uh, I believe it's tomorrow. Now, they're not going to let this go for $525, bucks, but... I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to maybe putting a bid on this thing, but I don't want to end up in something that's a total piece of junk that's been slapped together just to make a sale. Let's make sure the steering works. The steering seems to be fine. Air conditioning is ice cold. You get a little backup camera right there. That doesn't do a whole lot of good, but okay, it's it's got one. It seems to move. Ooh. That's, I think that's an exhaust rattle. We could turn that AC off. Radio. Radio works. Like I said, it doesn't have a whole lot of options, but I mean, for a little sports car, man, and if you've never driven one of these, I'm here to tell you these things are fun. These are really fun, torquey little cars, man. I love 350 and 370s. Let's pop the hood, see if we can see anything under there that might be problematic. Listen to this exhaust real quick. It sounds pretty decent, but that pipe is all contorted, man. That pipe right there has bent pretty badly over this way and up. <laughs> I wonder if we pop the hatch, if we would find any damage. Oh, the hatch didn't open. And this light is coming out. Huh. All right. Looks like there may be an issue with the, uh, with the hatch. Maybe this thing was hitting the front and the back, guys. It's kind of what I'm starting to think. Okay, we've got aftermarket cold air intakes by engine. There's definitely some stuff missing. Uh, Nissan's kind of notorious for putting plastic, pretty plastic stuff over their engines. And there's nothing on this engine. And then this looks like it's just these coolant lines are just kind of hanging here. They're not a... Uh, maybe that's not a coolant line. Maybe that's some kind of an air injection or air intake type of deal. You can see where there's supposed to be screws, probably for an engine cover, and there's not, but maybe that's because there's a uh, strut brace over here. Maybe you don't have the engine cover because of the strut brace. I don't know. Um, some broken clips, cracked clips on the front, no big deal. There's one right there that doesn't line up at all. So, it's a tough one, guys. It's a tough one just by coming out here and looking at it. And of course it helps that I know what to look for. I've been doing this for years and years. The lines on this thing actually look pretty good. 
they really do for the most part they look decent maybe there's too much of a gap in the hood here you can fit a whole finger in there and of course the forks damage the bumper the paint is cracking all of this paint is going to come off um, in fact it's already starting yeah it's already flaking and the bumper is creased here the bumper is also creased right here and you can see the paint is just chipping right off of it uh, all of this paint's gonna that's gonna need to be re refinished so a few a few minor issues but overall if you could get this thing for a steep discount if you could get it for a good price all day man all day i'd be willing to take a risk on it what do you guys think she sounds good all right i think i'm going to put this on the watch list like i said it's not going to sell for 525 dollars but i'd be willing to i'd be willing to go a little bit on this one guys i really would i like this little car yeah i like this little car guys i'm gonna put it on my watch list and we'll see what happens next we got a 2013 smart 42 passion i don't know man <laughs> i don't know i'm just showing you guys what's out here um somebody did a little decorating it's multiple colors man it's silver back here it's white here white here but it's kind of an off-white maybe a little bluish up here something tells me this car has been it's 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 had a rough life it's had a really rough life um so it was originally silver because everything back here is silver obviously it was hit in the back i'm not sure the extent of the damage because i really don't see anything wrong with it other than it's missing the rear bumper it's missing a side skirt it's obviously missing the tail lights but everything looks like it's uh, i don't want to say it's intact but it it doesn't look too bad can we open this oh we have parts you can't you can't open this i suppose i have no idea how this car works well anyway there's the bumper i think there's a tail light there's some parts there's another tail light so that's good oh boy um i don't know guys for the longest time oh there's some more parts okay for the longest time i said i was gonna buy one of these and uh i'm feeling better obviously um i'll get into another video but things went downhill for me pretty quick and it got pretty bad for me for uh for a while so i had to basically go on bed rest and uh just basically do nothing but i'm feeling a whole lot better so it's got power now i'm kind of ready to start buying some things you know S what did that say smart change your mind 87,000 miles on the odometer. Smart, open your mind. Sounds like it could hurt. I don't know. It runs. It runs. Why I'm surprised about it, I, I don't know. I didn't expect it to run. So I'm assuming these are your side skirts that we're missing on the other side. I mean, it's got all kinds of... You might have all the parts in here to to put this thing back together tpms light is on check tire pressure it even has cruise control these things have cruise control really important window works less important window works no way no i guys you tell me should i should we bring a smart car to the channel heated seats are you serious right now it's got air conditioning no way. No way. Air conditioning too. All right. Well, I... <laughs> power steering. That's got to have power steering. There's no way the wheel's that light. All right. Let me... Uh, see if it goes backwards. Oh, that doesn't feel good. It goes forwards. Brake works.
It seems to go backwards. Okay, hey, <laughs> this could be the one. Air conditioning, I do believe it works. Yeah, it's cold. It, <laughs> I didn't, I did not know these things had air conditioning. This is actually a pretty well optioned little car for what it is. I have no idea what these things go for. And I guess this is a convertible. I'm not sure how that works either. Do you just fold the top down into the trunk? Ugh. She's kind of noisy. But power mirrors too. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't see that. Somehow I totally missed this. The wheel is completely disintegrated. Uh, so you ain't gonna drive this one home. I'd be willing to bet there's a little bit of suspension damage back here as well. I don't know, guys. Is this the one? We've been looking for one of these for a long time. May need to put a gas cap on there. That would be a good idea, especially with rain and all of that kind of stuff. Guys, I, I, I don't want this car, but for some reason I can't help it. I think I'm going to bid on it. So let me pull this thing up on the auction block. Let's see. Uh, 89,000 miles. What's this thing going to go for? Probably nothing. Listen, I can't tell you why I just did what I did, but yeah we're winning it for 775 dollars i'm kind of kicking myself it's a pure sale too man it's a pure sale so <laughs> we may very well end up owning a smart car I, yeah i don't know <laughs> i don't know listen here's the deal seems to run all right i think boy that's noisy that's very vibrating too. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I just bid on this. Um, either way, I put a bid in and my bid is higher than $775. I'm actually kind of hoping to get this car. Again, why I, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I would even do with this thing. Um, this would probably be a project that gets thrown on a back burner for a while, but eventually it'd be kind of cool to put it together and, you know, I don't know, drive it? I'd have to change the color, maybe send it to Mako and have them paint it yellow and red, like the like the little tykes toy cars that the kids can get in and, and, and run around in. Maybe I could do something like that with it. We'll have to see. First, we got to win the auction, but $775 current bid, and it's a pure sale, which means whatever it sells for, well, that's what it's going to be sold for. I cannot believe that this car is still here and it still hasn't even gone up for sale. Um, I'm still interested in it. There's a few little odds and ends that I think I could scrap off of this car and save for myself. Probably not a whole lot, but there's a few pieces I'd like off of this car. Thankfully, it looks like the door is closed. Every, nope, it's not. See? <laughs> I don't know why I even bother. How many videos have you seen where I come out here and I actually close the door? I had some people saying that uh, I would be doing my SS a disservice by putting this interior in it. And I really like this interior, but I guess some of you, you're probably right. Some of you said that this was a bench seat. And I suppose it is. It's like one of those 6040s or whatever. And since I have a center console, uh, I don't think these seats would even work in my car. So probably not going to be able to use this interior. But the way this is going, this car is never going to go up for sale anyway. I mean, it's, been, it's literally been sitting here. Well, let's see how long it's been sitting here. It was picked up 8-17 of 2023 and it's still here. So anyway, I had to show it, man, because it's it's still here, and if it goes up for sale, I'm still ready to throw a bid on it because I think there are a few pieces here that I could use on another project. Man, I would buy this just for nostalgia. A 97 Lincoln Continental. Man, you don't see these things anymore. This is a donation. It's supposed to be a run and drive. 
it's got blown tires the back end is sitting on the ground so it may have blown most likely has blown bags you can clearly see all the mold and mildew all over it. this car has been parked for a very very long time but still man i would buy it clean it up and then probably never do anything with it and then eventually sell it because it's just taking up space you got your 4.6 liter 32 valve intec you remember the intec yeah a little bit of damage back here to the bumper nothing too crazy though i mean it's an old car it looks like the headliner sagging here in the back oh boy yeah she's a. Uh... It's not, it's not bad, guys. For what it is, this is not bad. What is this, a cup holder? Ashtray? No? I don't know what that is. Oh, man. Wow. The leather is actually still relatively supple. It's not super dried out or anything. I'm surprised it runs. It says it runs. I don't know. Take a look. Look at all of this under the windshield wipers. You know? Look, look at this. I'll bet it doesn't run. Well, let me see if I can get over here and take a look at the other side. Maybe it's wrecked over here. I haven't seen this side yet. No, it actually, overall, the car doesn't look too bad. It was probably parked because the air suspension failed. Because once that went out, well, you had two options. People either park them and let them sit under a tree, which looks like exactly what happened to this one, or you continue driving it and the whole back of the car would constantly bounce like this. Even the tiniest bump in the road, you would be doing this. If you had people in the back seat, they would be beating their head on the roof back here, guys. It, it was miserable. If you've never ridden in a Lincoln with dead air suspension in the back, you, you missed out. You really missed out on a lot of fun. It was kind of like a rite of passage, man. <laughs> You, you had to ride them in, in the back of one of these with a dead air suspension uh, before you grew up. That was That's how you became an adult. I just love the contours, the dashboard. It's such a unique and, in my opinion, beautiful car. I'm sure a lot of people today hate it. Why don't we pop the hood? Let's see what it's working with under there. Probably throw a jump pack on it and see if we can get this thing running. I hear the compressor. No kidding. The uh, compressor for the rear end just came on, so that's good news. The compressor works. Take a look at this engine, man. It's kind of wild looking under here. Front wheel drive V8. Man, these things were great. I absolutely am in love with this car. I don't expect that back is going to come off the ground, guys. Um, we'll pop the trunk real quick, though. Because back here, there should be a suspension disable button, which obviously, since I can hear the compressor running, the suspension is not disabled. But if you're going to tow it, see, off, and there it is back on again. I don't know what this is. Oh, for a barbecue grill? All right. Oklahoma Gazette from what? 19, uh, 2019. Wow. Okay, that's from a that's from a ways back, isn't it? Let's see if it'll run. It says it does. I really don't see this thing running, but really, really, it it actually does run. Oh, it's not running the best, and the compressor sounds a little little off, but. Important window, yes. We also have a cracked windshield. Um, we do have a date on here though, guys. This will help us. 132,800 miles is when it was due for its next oil change and that was February of 2017. This car has been sitting for seven years. Current mileage, 137,220. It never made it to its next oil change in 2017. So, yeah, this car has been sitting for a long time. The question is, why? I've got a feeling it's that air suspension. Brakes, it's got them. It's got a quarter tank of gas. She's definitely misfiring. But, I mean, it goes forward. 
It goes backward. I can't go far in either direction. Air conditioning. I think the I think the AC just kicked on. What about the radio? Well, that didn't sound very good, but I mean the radio seems to work. Check steering assist. Oh wow. Yeah. I mean it is on flat tires, so that could have something to do with it. <laughs> this is not bad. We could probably get this thing going. Power seat, check ride control. Yeah, I told you. I told you it was probably the ride control that killed this thing. So the power seats work. They're adjusting nicely. It's very comfortable. The AC, by the way, uh, that's ice cold. I'd love to turn it off now. Um, there we go. The AC works. We have, what is this? Heated back and both. Heated seats on both sides. You've got cup holders, cigarette lighter, and some bottle caps. All right, and then below that, I don't know what that is, maybe nothing. Some nice little storage right here as well. Napkins and some Tums. Money! Hey, we're already winning on this car, guys. Um, sunroof. Glasses? You tell me I get free glasses? with I need a new pair of glasses, guys. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let's see what you guys think. Because if these glasses fit me and they look, if you think these glasses look decent, hit the thumbs up button right now. What do you think? You think I should buy this car? I can't have the glasses unless I buy the car, guys. I'm not going to take the glasses. They belong to somebody else. Um, so would I bid on the car for the sunglasses? Sure. Um, it's actually running pretty good. It's not bad. Traction control, auto lamps, panel dim. Uh, of course, you've got re uh, memory seats, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Does it have a key fob? It does. It's got a key fob, too. It's dead, but it's got a key fob. Heated seats. you got your digital information center, which I don't know where that shows right here. Press clear to reset warnings. Um... Check traction control, check ride control, check steering assist. Gotcha. Trip, 220 miles, 80 miles to empty, no miles per gallon. All right. Ride control, normal. Steering effort, normal. Wow. I mean, overall, not bad. An ABS light, it probably needs some fresh fuel, and I bet it would run perfect. It sounds decent. I bet this thing, you put some fresh gas in it and get this thing going down the road, probably would drive just fine aside from the, the issues with the rear suspension, which is why I'm sure it was parked. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, she didn't come up one bit, did she? And you can clearly hear it misfiring. Let's go around to the other side. Oh, and that gas smells horrible too. This one's gonna need a little bit of work, guys. Uh, the question is, how much could we spend on it without like losing too much because the car isn't really worth anything. Yeah, as I figured, you come over to this side and this this back end over here hasn't come up either. Um, not at all. So the easiest thing and probably the most efficient thing to do for this car would be to put it out of its misery. But aside from that, if you're trying to save the car, um, grab a couple of conversion struts and just bypass the uh, bypass the ride control altogether flip the switch turn it off and hopefully you won't have any crazy constant messages dinging at you on the screen throw a couple of regular struts back here i'll bet it's not more than four or five hundred bucks for a pair for this and then we need to get it out on the road it needs to be driven probably needs a tune-up and oil change and all of that good stuff like i said it really comes down to how much is the car going to cost. It also needs a full set of tires. It also needs a windshield. Um, this car could be put back on the road. It really just comes down to is it worth it? And how much can we get it for? You guys tell me, how much do you think this car is worth? And is it something you'd even be interested 
in seeing on the channel. I couldn't help it. I had to bid on it, guys. I bid 250 bucks. Nobody was bidding on it. The auctions in one day, 24 hours left on it, and I'm winning it for $125. Now, I don't know what they expect to get out of this car. Honestly, I really have no idea what they think this car is gonna sell for. It's great that it runs, but let's just be real, man. She's she's in pretty rough shape, but I think this is something we could put back on the road, guys. So I'm gonna see what we can do. If we can win it, I'll bring it to the channel. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're gonna get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. First new video in a while, man. It's it's been it's been a rough couple of weeks for me but like i said i'm feeling a lot better after i was feeling a lot worse so things are things are looking good guys we're back to making regular content again i hope you enjoyed if you did hit the thumbs up button and let me know consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and until next time stay safe out there everybody i look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one